told you that only your PVC can never ever determine who becomes your governor, your president, your any ruler in Nigeria. Mazina Nkana have told you this. Mazina Nkana have always preached to you that your PVC will never help you in this life. But you say they should crucify him, they should crucify him. Now it's another election season in Imo State. On Saturday, people are going to be pied, people are going to be massacred. Ask yourself one single question. All those people that were killed during the presidential election, who is remembering them now? The whole people that dropped dead because of election in Lagos, because of election in every part of Nigeria, people that were gallivanting and shouting and being obedient and doing everything, they thought that their PVC will help them. What is the gain? What happened? Where are those people now? The people that died, who is remembering them now? The people that their hands and legs were amputated, where are they now? Who is taking care of them now? Those people you are trying to vote for, are they really coming out to help you out when you have all this crisis? These are the things we are telling you that you shouldn't invest your life. You shouldn't kill yourself because of political, so-called political leaders. That is why we are saying, personally, I have a personal hate for Mo Hope Ozanema. I have, a, I have a personal hate for him. Apart from that, you see him, you watch him bring in bombs and missiles, sending soldiers to bomb communities. Don't you pretend as if you don't see all those things. Have you ever seen in a Yoruba land, in a Yoruba soil, where the governor is bringing in military? He's coming on social media, he's coming on television to tell you that he is the one that invited a soldier to bomb innocent citizens in Olo. Have you ever seen in Yoruba land, have you ever seen in the Muslim community where their governor is bringing in soldiers to kill his own citizens in the name of looking for ESN? You have been looking for ESN since four years. You have not still found them. And then, deaths upon deaths, corpses upon corpses, houses have been bombed and raised, villages have been raised have been put in flames by the so-called Boko Haram. According to them, they say they are repentant Boko Haram that they put in their military to come to your village to bomb you. And it is hopeless on the matter that is bringing all these people. And now, you want to go and vote again. Are you not stupid? Are you sure you are not out of your senses? The essence of this video is to tell you, to tell your brother, tell your rat and your cockroaches to stay at home on Saturday. Because at the end of the day, whether you go and vote or not, the result is already been written. The same way that they made Bola Ahmed Tunubu your president, that is the same way they have already written the election result in Imo State. So why are you going to go out there to risk your life? Because at the end of the day, when you drop dead on Saturday, they are going to tag you IPOB, they are going to tag you ESN, and nothing, I say, nothing can be done about it. Nobody is going to investigate your death, nobody is going to answer questions, nobody is going to have the responsibility when you are done. When you are gone, when you drop dead, nobody is going to ask any questions. So why do you want to take this risk? Why can't you reach out now and tell your brothers, your sisters in the village, in the communities, every part of Imo State, for them to stay indoors so that you will not be the tool for their propaganda. Why can't you now reach out to your people on WhatsApp? Why can't you now play your own part by saving life, by telling people the same way I'm telling you, the same way the Prime Minister of Government, the African Government in Israel have told you to stay indoors, not to validate this criminality, this atrocity, this, this buying of our people. You don't have to validate Nigerian government. If you say you want your freedom, at the end of the day, the result is there for you to see what happened during the presidential election. I am asking you, who is your president and who made him your president? When you have these answers correctly, then you can now decide what you want to do with your life. After all, when you drop dead, I am not the one that is dropping dead. When they spy you on Saturday, it's not me that they spy. 
When you are sending money to buy corpses and caskets for your junior ones, for your family members, after Saturday, it is you that's going to bury them, not me. So I'm here telling you, the same way the U.S., we issue statements telling their citizens to stay indoors during Nigeria election, telling their people not to go anywhere, warning them of the risk involved. That is why I am using this same medium to tell you about the risk involved when you are trying to vote for these same people that have been bombing you. When you go out there to validate Nigerian government, when you go out there on Saturday to validate these atrocities, they are going to use you as a scapegoat. That is just the truth. It is happening every day. Don't pretend as if you don't know what happened during the presidential election. The, the, the governor aspirant of Labour Party, he is telling you that during election day that his wife is going to stay at home. That is what he said. My wife was talking at me that we should please go back because of the people for, with us. You know, women, I had to listen to her. So we now had to turn. I wanted to enter the car to drive it myself. Go, ah, my own is like a tank that they have something. I want to drive through that place because I have the right to go there. But my wife couldn't, wouldn't let me. So anyway, on election day, she'll be at home. <laughs> and then the warriors will be outside. So anyway, on election day, she'll be at home. <laughs> and then the warriors will be outside. So anyway, on election day, she'll be at home. <laughs> and then the warriors will be outside. That is the real man we go. So now, you are mother in the village. You are auntie in the village that is wearing hopes of the McLeod. What are you telling this woman? Are you sure it's not the time to pick up your phone and call your mom in the village and your sisters and your aunties and tell them to stay indoors? And they shouldn't continue to validate the same people that have been murdering them in their numbers. The thing is this, whether you guys like it or not, it's either Biafra or Biafra. It doesn't matter your propaganda. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how much you shout. It doesn't matter how many you vote. Even if Hopo Zodema is there tomorrow, it's still either Biafra or Biafra. Do you understand? So I'm making this video to let you know that the same thing Mazen Amerikan have been crying and preaching still stands. It is only your PVC. It is only INEC. Not your PVC. Only INEC and the corrupt judges of Nigeria. The judges that have been compromised. The judges that will turn white to black and you can't do anything. A country that doesn't have no constitution. The people that will rubbish their own constitution. The people that will jettison every law that they make. That is a country you want to go and die for. When two elephants are fighting, is the grass that perish. When two elephants are fighting, is the grass that suffer it most. So I'm here to tell you from a brother to a brother. I'm not trying to dictate to you how you live your life. After all, the people that are piled in incense protests, nobody's remembering them. The people that died during the election of the presidential election, nobody is talking about them. The people that got injured, nobody is coming to their rescue up to today. The people that are looking for justice in the Nigeria system have not gotten justice. So is it you that's going to get justice? So think about this. You might be saving a soul. You might be saving a brother. You might be saving somebody by reposting this video, for example. You might be saving a soul by sending this video to your WhatsApp groups. By interpreting what I'm saying in your own language and telling your people to stay in those in Imo State, not to come and validate the Nigerian government again because these people have been killing us in our numbers. And when are we going to stand up? The same opposite of them mad that is masterminding the keeping of Martin Namdekan in detention. That is the person you want to go and vote and validate. The same person that has been bringing bombs and ammunition to buy his own people in his own village. He came out on public television to say he's the one that invited the soldiers. Ask yourself how many times have any full animal came out and said that he invited soldiers to come and raise a community because there is suspected Boko Haram in the community. What they do is they will go and get the Boko Haram and they will put them in their military to send them to your soil to pay you. You are jumping around. You know it better than everybody. 
You are evil man. You have too much sense. So where is all this your sense leading you to? All this you are knowing a lot. You know it more than Master Namdekano. Where have you led you to now? Till now, Master Namdekano is now in detention for two years. How forward have you? How 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 far? Where are you since two years? Master Namdekano is not there. So we are telling you. Instead of you to go and die for what you don't know, it's best for you to stay indoors so that the Biafran Liberation Army will face these people that have been bombing our villages. I saw a video yesterday that a, a, a house of a poor man was, was, was raised to ashes. They shot this man on his legs. A very poor old man. So who is going to, who is going to get justice for him? If not the Liberation Army of the Biafran people. So why do you want to get in the way of the flying bullets? Why can't you stay at home and save your life? This is a national and out.